Hey everyone, it's Elaine, and welcome to my newest edition of What's on My Crafty Tables. Well, yesterday we had a rainy, stormy evening here in Georgia. So what I did was I redid my rolling racks. And if you remember, see if I can do this, the one that's right there, excuse the beautiful fingers, the one that's right there, I didn't have any shelves on the bottom part of it. I had taken shelves and had gone from the first one to the third one, so I didn't have to really purchase a third rack. Well, then I still had a whole bunch of stuff. So I ended up purchasing a third rack, and up under the window, which is right about there, um, I had just done half of the shelves and used the rest of the shelves on, you know, all of this. Well, I didn't like it because it blocked my window somewhat. And I'll show you when we get up there. So anyway, so in order to do this, I had to not only take the shelves off of the middle top, but off of both of the other racks because they were all kind of teardropped and attached, if that makes sense to you. So anyhow, I took everything off yesterday. Um, I guess the only thing I didn't take off was from where my suitcase is right there with the journals in it. These three right here are, I guess, the only ones I did not mess with out of all of that. <laughs> and um, it was good because I, I felt it was raining so hard. I, I took it as being trapped in here without an umbrella. So it didn't motivate me to go home. Um, anyhow, so that's what I did yesterday. And I don't know, I really like it. And I was kind of getting, I don't know, losing my mojo a little bit. And I don't want to do that. So that kind of gave me a second win, to, I would say. Um, so anyway, in the process of doing that, I discovered that I had a bunch of um, stencils that I have not put in my binders yet. And I noticed that this binder right here is about on overload. Um, this, is kind of, this binder is kind of my medium stencils. I have one that does 12 by 12s. And anything larger, really, than 8.5 by 11. Um, and then, you know, like in some cases, like here, as you can see, I have smaller stencils in the front of the binder and all. So that's going to be a project, hopefully, I get done today, getting my stencils put away. Um, I left all of this out just to kind of show you. If you remember the little doodad thing, cabinet thing, that my husband had had for 100 years and never used... Um, I took, I'm hoping, I dug in all kinds of places, and I've taken all of the metal pieces, um, and put into the little drawers. So, I, I left them out right now just to show you kind of the mess I have, um, and what I had been up to. Alright, so they're going to go in there, and that is going to sit, I'm going to jump over here, that is going to sit on this shelf go this way here quick without making you seasick it's going to sit on the shelf right there facing this way so I will go into it here from the side um, I had to make sure that when I put those shelves together yesterday that I had plenty of uh, height for that um, and then this is what I was talking about now I've got my two carts in front of the window which then I can roll them out but my window is you can see out the window before the stuff was probably about halfway up that window. Um, anyway, so back over to where I was with the metal. I did empty some of these um, like spice containers with a magnet on them that were hanging on the side of the cart. Don't really want to give them up, but at the same time, not really sure what to do with them at this point in time. So those will be to be determined. I'll probably stick them away somewhere. Um, if any of you have ever watched when I have coffee stained and tea stained paper, you'll know that this dish here is the thing that I use. 
It's pretty big. It would even hold a 12 by 12 um, piece of paper. It was a um, LED light fixture that blew, and I kept the plastic covering off of it. And I have to tell you, I like using it because, see if you can see here, it has this lip around it, and um, it kind of helps the water and stuff from sloshing around. So now you know where I got these blue fingers from. Um, what happened was I started off with, where is it at? Here. I started off with that color paint, I'm trying to use up some old paint, and I'll put boiling water with it to kind of, you know, melt it, let's say, if it has clumps and stuff in it. So that's what those papers were. Not much color to them, really. Well, when I got poking around and I was looking for my um, my smooch, this I used smooch to add some shimmer and all. And this is just a product that, again, I'm trying to use up and get rid of. So when I use the smooch and I toss it on the papers or I'll put it in the water to get, add a little shimmer to it. But this isn't really a much color. But anyhow, when I went to go get the smooch, I realized that I had some of these old inks right here, posh inks um, from the Rainbow Collection, I think it was called, Posh Rainbow. Um, that blue had leaked all over everything. I mean, made a tea total mess. So as I was trying to get the other bottles out of the little plastic basket, it got all over me. Well, I just took that ink and just dropped it into the water that I had from that greenish paint. And then that's what I got. So I went ahead and I had a space for about four more pieces of paper on my table. Um, so that's why those are much darker than those. But you can see how it's kind of run into those other pieces. And I like it. Normally, I do stain my paper on my back patio. But it is really windy here today. And I kind of wanted to do this and play. So, um, just, I, I, I've turned the heat on in here. So hopefully this is going to get this to dry maybe before morning. I'm in no big hurry. Um, this is just the easiest way for me. I've tried the oven thing and it's, it's rough on you, boy. Especially when you're tall like me, all the bending over. Anyhow, and then this is my little hot mess that's always going to be here. Um... I finished up some ATC cards that I had a swap for, and um, I guess pretty much just left what I had out <laughs> and, and left it as it was. Now, if you remember the other day, I had some wallpaper books that I had taken apart, and I had some pages from the wallpaper book still out on the table. Well, this is the, um, let's see if I can do this, show you. It had texture pieces all over these kind of sheets. So I ripped them off. And then that's what's in this bag. Without making you seasick here. But my favorite pieces are these long ones. I thought they will be really cute for like belly bands in a journal. And then of course the littler pieces you know, can be embellishments and stuff. But I'm telling you, you can find use for all kinds of stuff. So these right now, um, they're really, I've picked all the good stuff off of them. However, let me see if I can do this here. There are still really some very pretty pictures on some of these. Um, and, you know, you kind of have to, you know, dig through. But other than that, I'll just use them for glue mats or whatever. And then another thing that I like to do is I like to just make little bitty one signature journals out of greeting cards and then give those greeting card little journals as a gift to someone. So I've pulled out, I think I've got like six of this one, but I've also pulled out some strips of paper. Another thing that I like to do is make little notepads with perforated tops to them to put inside a journal so there's a little notepad in all my journals. There's usually at least one. So that's what these strips are for. Um, I'm going to a retreat in a few weeks and that might be what I work on or, or these. So um, I'm trying to get my ducks lined up. 
But anyway, that's what's on my crafty table this week. <laughs> and I hope you appreciate it. Um, other than that, I don't think I'm missing anything I want to tell you right now. So it's not quite as big of a mess as it has been. And like I said, um, my studio here is coming along. This is the other side right now. That's mostly journaling stuff. Um, and that's it. So if you have any questions about anything or give me a shout out, I would appreciate it. And by all means, please subscribe to my channel and give me that great thumbs up. I'd appreciate it. I put out a video usually every Tuesday evening and I'm also on Facebook and Instagram and Twitter. Come check me out. I'd like to hear from you and I'll catch y'all later. Bye.